We'll experience yet more contrast now as we leave Italy with all of its great historical landmarks and monuments and enter Switzerland, the land of mountains and green hills and beautiful clean nature. We're heading to Lucerne into the heart of the Alps. And this train ride from Venice to Lucerne is the most spectacular of our entire journey. It is so breathtakingly beautiful. We quickly get the bags off the train by helping each other out. And then we easily walk through the train station along the platform and then down through the convenient escalator to the lower level and out onto the street. It's an easy walk right to the hotel, only takes about five minutes from the station. Our wonderful Hotel de Balance is right in the heart of the old town on the waterfront. An excellent restaurant for simple Swiss sausage meals is here that's called Fistern with a rustic wooden interior or tables outside on the lower terrace along the river, which is a great place to sit anytime the weather allows it. One of the highlights here is the Lion Monument, carved right into the rock of the cliff. It has a pedestrian zone that's historic and yet quite lively with modern shops. Maybe step out to the old Swiss house. It's a great restaurant just near the Lion Monument. One of the specialties of the house is Wiener Schnitzel and it's prepared right at your table. And you can watch the whole operation. The restaurant does specialize in Swiss cuisine. It's hard to top a meal at the old Swiss house. Up the next morning for another terrific meal. This time it's breakfast at the Hotel de Balance. Well, midpoint of the trip, good time to do your laundry. Unfortunately, there's the jet wash. We drop it off and they take care of it for us. Another nice attraction of this side of town is our favorite chocolate shop. We're heading up to Mount Titlis, going by train on the first leg of the journey. It's about a one hour train ride from Lucerne to Engelberg through more of this beautiful Swiss Alpine scenery. You can get up to Mount Titlis by tour bus, but as usual, we find it's a lot more pleasant to go by train. The scenery is among the most spectacular you'll find in all of central Switzerland. And then up a very steep portion, by cable car to the top of Mount Titlis. We're 10,000 feet high in the Alps. And the mountain is so high that you have to change cable car several times to reach the top. You can also ski up here. Mount Titlis is 10,500 feet high, which makes it the tallest mountain in this part of central Switzerland. Another activity while you're at the top of Mount Titlis is the glacier tunnel. There's a glacier on top of Mount Titlis all year round, so it's a spectacular sight for us Hawaii people to see. From the top, we get a fine view looking into the heart of what's called the Bernese Oberland. It's lovely to look at, but really we've come up here to play in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it. We don't, let's make a snowball fight. We're up on the top of Mount Titlis. We're at 10,000 foot elevation. And it's a wild place. People are having a frolic in the snow, and it's freezing, a little breezy, but it's comfortable enough, really, with your jacket on. And then we continue back down the way we came up, into the valley bottom, down to the village of Engelberg. We pick up some sandwiches at the bakery, and we take the train from there back into Lucerne. Of course, it's okay to bring food onto the train, we're able to have our lunch. My lunch? And we arrive in town with a free afternoon. So if you come up in the morning, you can be back down in Lucerne in time for some afternoon shopping. And then the next morning, we're heading off to Paris.